Today we're going to dive into the new Emphasize Audio Effect in Camtasia 2021. In recording parlance, the Emphasize Audio Effect is known as audio ducking. It's not this kind of ducking or that kind of ducking. So what kind of ducking is it? Ducking in audio recording is a technique for allowing a narrator's voice to be heard clearly and consistently when there is other audio happening at the same time, such as background music. Before the emphasize audio effect, this is what my workflow looked like to put in the audio ducking effect with a two second ramp in and a two second ramp out. Test again. My life is flowing into a that looks good of how I should lean. We're done. The Emphasize Audio Effect is a fast and easy way to get your video sounding professional, especially if you have a screencast or a narration track and additional audio like music in the background. You can choose a primary narration or voice track and duck all the others into the background. My life is flowing into a place where I can choose to live my life totally my way, rather than as a reflection of someone else's idea of how I should live. The first step in this process of setting up this effect is to be sure that you've got your music bed on the timeline and aligned to play along with your narration track. The music bed is commonly placed below the narration track. Next, apply the emphasize audio effect to the primary audio track you want to use, your narration clip. After that setup, you can tune the emphasis of the narration track by adjusting the emphasize properties including emphasis, ramp position, and ramp in and out timings. The emphasis parameter controls the relative volume of the narration track to the rest of the audio, which in this case is the music bed. An emphasis value of zero means that there's no emphasis in play. In other words, the effect is doing nothing, and an emphasis value of 100 means that you will only hear the narration sound and no music. The default is 80%, and it reflects a nice balance so that you can hear the narration well above the music bed. If you want to raise the relative volume of the narration, then move the slider above 80%. Here's an emphasis value of zero. Let's play. My life is flowing into a play. See how the voice competes with the music pretty intensely. Okay, now let's go to 50% emphasis. My life is flowing into a the voice is starting to show a little more clearly but we want to go higher let's try the default of 80 percent my life is flowing into a plate that's a nice balance now what would happen if we went all the way to a hundred watch this my life is flowing into a place see that it's a hundred percent voice next you can tune the ramp position. By default, the ramp position is set to outside. Outside means that ramp in and ramp out seconds apply outside of the narration track. This means ramping in before the narration and ramping out after the narration. Here's the example with an emphasis of 80 using ramp position outside and two seconds for our ramp in and ramp out parameters, just so that you can get an appreciation for the uh, two seconds. Here we are, this is our narration track right here. And we come out two seconds, that's why I have these little markers here. So you can hear the effect start to come in here, to start to play in there, and then at the end, the effect will also start to come to, um, the ramp out will start there and go to about the two second mark here. So let's hear, I'll play before and the after pieces. My life is flowing in. See how the ramp in worked there, and then we're going to hear the ramp out. Elsa's idea of how I should live. Hear how it got increasingly louder as we came up to the two second mark there. The inside ramp position means that the ducking ramp in 
seconds will not start until the narration starts, and the ramp out seconds will start before the narration ends. Now we've left everything the same and changed to the ramp position of inside. Okay, so if you're looking at our narration piece, the ramp in will occur in this position here for two seconds coming in, and it will also start at uh, this point here for two seconds before leaving the narration. So let's hear how it sounds. Go back a little. My life is flowing into a place where I see how the audio ducking started much later. Likewise, it's going to come out or finish earlier. Watch. Other than as a reflection of someone else's idea of how I should leave. And finally, the span ramp position means that the ramp in and ramp out seconds will straddle the start and end of the narration. Now for the span ramp position, we're still with the two seconds and what that means is for one second before and for one second into the narration, you're going to have our ducking happen in that's, that window. Likewise, on the back end, you're going to see it straddle or span the end with starting one second before and going through to the time after. So let's play. My life is flowing into a place. So did you see how that started before and when about a second in and likewise we'll play the exit part. See the same thing happen here in the region. Else's idea of how I should leave. There you go. Wow! As you can see, the new Emphasize audio effect makes the application of audio ducking easy and super fast. Since you just finished this audio tutorial, why not check out some of the additional Camtasia audio tutorials I have in my Camtasia audio editing playlist. To access the playlist, click on the YouTube card in this video or on the link for the playlist in the video description below. In this playlist, you'll find tutorials on how to do noise removal, audio compression, and cool sound effects. And if you need any assistance with YouTube or Camtasia projects, be sure to reach out to me through Messenger or my website, gordeisman.com, and let's have a chat. See you in another video soon.